Whitefish Convention and Visitors Bureau, located in Whitefish, Montana, as an example, let's look at how GeoConsensus works for a destination marketing organization. Whitefish, Montana is a small town in northwestern Montana, only 25 miles from Glacier National Park. And with a major destination ski resort, tourism is a very important part of the town's economy. Using GeoConsensus, individual member businesses can log on and update their business information and add new events to the calendar of events, add group activities, specials, and packages. I've gotten permission from a local business owner so to use their account and we can look at this in uh, as real information. So logging on, the business owner can see their editor's profile who's the local director of the Convention and, and Visitors Bureau, announcements that that editor has shared with the contributors, the members of the community, also e-newsletters that have been sent out to the site subscribers, and then other documents that the director of the CVB, who is also the editor of the site, shares with the, with the members. On the home page, they can see the content that they have directed. We call this the dashboard. If you click on Garden Wall In, the member can update any text information. They can also add activity, content, group professionals, meeting or group room, specials and packages. All of this information is distinct just to the Whitefish Convention and Visitors Bureau because the content model or the types of information that are available on the CVB site are distinct for every site. The Garden Wall Inn can also add images upload video, embedded video, so it's video that's been added to say YouTube or Vimeo where they can just take the embed code and, and add it here so it plays natively on the site. They can add sound files and also PDF files. They can add their contact information and also plot their business location on a map. So using simple and easy to use mapping tools the business owner can can map their content. Back at the dashboard, each member can look to see how many times each month the public is viewing their content online by clicking on View My Content Statistics. It provides a real tangible value to members to have the ability to manage their information and to get a direct report on how many times people are viewing their information. The travel planning public experiences this information on the town's tourism planning site at www.explorewhitefish.com. Here, they can see the detailed information about each member business, such as restaurants or lodging. If you remember, we looked at what the Garden Wall Inn uh, owner sees. As they log on, that same owner, uh, the way that the public uh, experiences their information is through a different interface. Here they can see detailed information about each member business, see the latest specials and events, An interactive map allows visitors to get a geographical perspective on what's where in Whitefish. Visitors can order a free travel planner or sign up to keep in touch with e-newsletters from Whitefish. When a user signs up, they can also save the places and information they value most in their favorites, and they can share that list out via email to their family or friends. The time and date of the download and the person doing the fulfillment is tracked on the subscriber's record. So here, for example, we'll see here's a person that has requested a travel planner. We can see the date that they requested it, the date that that request was fulfilled, 
then also who did the fulfillment. As people subscribe online, they're assigned a subscriber source. Many subscriber source are available based on where that subscriber came from. By default, as they're assigned online, they're given the explorewhitefish.com online sign-up source. But other sources include leads from magazines and other ad campaigns, as well as travel and trade shows that generate leads. Additional information about a subscriber is very helpful in managing the relationship. The subscriber can indicate the specific types of information they are interested in. These are called subscriber attributes. In addition, the opt-in and opt-out status of a subscriber is also automatically managed and can be set. This determines whether or not that subscriber is willing to receive e-newsletters. GeoConsensus provides for the ability of the Whitefish Convention and Visitors Bureau to manage their full marketing pipeline. Quickly walking through the pipeline from marketing campaign to customer will help provide insight to the power that GeoConsensus can bring to your destination marketing organization. Marketing and advertisement campaigns can be set up under the Campaigns tab. Online campaigns are digitally tracked Tracking the number of impressions and clicks for your online campaigns. GeoConsensus will go a step further though. And it'll track how many people sign up at your site as a result of a specific campaign. Showing total impressions, clicks, and leads that result from that campaign. So here is a, a, a campaign that's been set up. and We know that it's generated 291 leads based on 21,874 clicks. Going back to subscribers, it's possible to see who those 289 subscribers are that came about as a result of that campaign simply by going to the source. So here's a list of those people who were generated, 290 people generated because of that campaign. The Campaign Tracker tool allows you to focus your advertising resources on the most productive places. While subscribers have the ability to see and interact with content on your site that is maintained and managed by your members, you can also communicate directly with your subscribers using e-newsletter tools. Wifer sends e-newsletters on a regular basis to all its subscribers takes four quick steps to create a new e-newsletter. First, give the e-newsletter a name and a subject line. Pick the graphical header for the e-newsletter. Second, select a list. You can send to all your subscribers and members, or you can send to a custom list based on the subscriber source or the specific interests your subscribers have indicated. So for example, if I want to send just to the people who signed up at the Calgary show in 09, I could add them. And I could say only to people who have signed up at the Calgary show and are interested in winter sports. After that, you can select the content you want to feature in your e-newsletter. This is content that has been already developed in a CMS by your members. Create a header introductory information, then select from the CMS the specific content that you want to add. Finally, you can preview the e-newsletter. You click unlock and send. After an e-newsletter has been sent, you can track what happened to the e-newsletter. How many times it was opened, how many times it bounced, how many times a subscriber unsubscribed? All of this is taken care of automatically by GeoConsensus. You can even see how many times each content item in your e-newsletter was clicked on. This translates back to your subscriber, where you can see whether they opened or didn't open any particular e-newsletter sent to them. Developing a new customer for a travel destination comes by telling a great and authentic story about your place, told best by your members. For Whitefish, have a list of hundreds and hundreds of participants, all members of the local CVB, that are logging on and telling the story of Whitefish. Reaching out to new people to tell them the story of your place and keeping in touch with them is key to this. Visitors may plan their trip for next weekend or maybe it will be next year. 
but you will generate new visitors and customers for your destination by effectively telling the story of your place. And GeoConsensus allows you to do this efficiently and effectively.